We got equipment search results. Visit an old rundown shopping district near Sotenbori. Managed to sneak into the store despite suspicious looks from the shoppers. Caught in the crossfire. Supplier's foes launch a surprise attack. Success. Mission went reasonably well. So we obtained a dagger, metal bat, and steel. Here, you can receive the equipment. It's ready for use. Recipes make you enable you to craft it. Name of the item is not shown. It means you haven't discovered the parts or equipment required to make it. Okay. Not bad, Fehu. Not bad. I am not a professional agent, but next time we'll call in one of the agents in our network. I'll continue looking for more agents as well. I hope to expand our network to get better information on powerful equipment and acquire more resourceful agents. As you might imagine, the more valuable the equipment, the harder it is to get it. I don't know. Majima, I can get it. In those cases, the agents can bring back recipes with information on how to create a replica. I can then recreate the item in my workshop. But you need parts for that, so get parts. We have some spare ones here. You can have them for free, you lucky man. You got lead ingots. <laughs> you got quality iron. You got iron gear. <laughs> you got timber. You got driftwood. You got cursed. One of these things is not like the other. One of these things just isn't the same. One of these things is not like the other. <laughs> you got Flintstones. Are they chewables? You can find parts at regular shops, too. Look around in Sh Shofuku Jail. Oh, my God. <laughs> Flintstones. Have some Flintstones. There for making stuff with other stuff. Okay, let me let me send. I need uh. to send my my agents to go get things. Mm. Oh. I'm sorry. I was so busy with the search, I forgot about shopping. Our illustrious champion. What's up, Exoscout? Welcome home. Exoscout. The pictures you've been posting on your Tumblr have been great. Uh. Sure. Uh, take take your time. I'll find something to do and come back later. I gotta go play with these cursed handcuffs or whatever. Hello, yes, hello. It's Majima. Uh, I seem to have handcuffed myself to my own dick. Uh, if somebody could come to my apartment and and help me out here, that'd be great. Thanks. It's Majima. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Six five eight one zero and five one zero. That's uh, Dragon Tiger and come. Our illustrious champion returns. Oh, wait, it's one of those Welcome squirrels. Home. Listen, I know a kid that would love to meet you, Kaneko. Uh, yeah, they just paged me. I literally just walked out the door. So, hi, hi, yes, it's me. I was just here. What do you want? Once you become more familiar with weapons, I'll teach you new ways to wield them. Consider it part of my service. It would be a shame to leave the full power of the weapons you obtained for me untapped. I'm just saying I got my own way of doing things. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Teach me bat techniques. <laughs> more, more deadly than a sword? Are you serious? Yes, quite. The bat and the katana are alike in length. They say some baseball players purchase a katana and practice their swings with them. To heighten their focus. Do they say that? Who says that? But considered as another class of weapon, the bat's way. You know, my favorite samurai of all time is definitely got to be Babe Ruth. <sighs> Principle's not far off. Yeah. I, I'm telling you, there are techniques you could perform with a bat. Simply wouldn't be possible using other weapons. I suggest you work on uncovering these. <laughs> Huh, you're making a big deal out of this, but a bat's a bat if you ask me. You just whack people with them. This is a truly groundbreaking technique. I will teach you new weapon skills as you progress, but I ask you show me your bat fighting skills in return. I'll show you anything you want, but I ain't exactly the professor type. Hey, I got an idea. 
What's that? When you teach me new weapon moves, how about you take me on with that weapon? And I'll fight back with the bat. Uh, it would be difficult for you to pick up new te techniques that way, I fear. I believe it's better to begin by learning the proper stance and forms. What, are you going to make me a pro baller start by playing catch? We ain't exactly amateurs here. I'd rather get a feel for a weapon naturally in a fight. I see. I suppose that method may be better suited to you. Yeah, I've been looking forward to going another round with you anyway. Heh. <laughs> It should be fun. <laughs> there is there is a lot of this like Japanese game tendency to layer on a bunch of additional dialogue where you don't really need it. Like the game's not very good at minimalism and interaction. It's like a lot of text to kind of say one short thing. Are you even working on your bat techniques? Oh shit. Let's get him to teach us about the pole. You want to learn the pole? I'm ready. I'm ready to learn the pole. You and me in the back alley, learning pole techniques. The pole techniques I'm about to show you were passed down through generations in China. Are you gonna teach me your ancestors' pole techniques? Ah, so we're doing some real traditional shit now. I am from Taiwan myself, but many techniques originating in China can be found there. The reach differs from a bat, as does the speed of the spinning attacks. Ah. Interesting. See it in action, then. I look forward to getting another look at your bat techniques. We should avoid using our more powerful moves. All right, here I come. <laughs> Dramatic. Whoop. I love the, like, kung fu movie music. <laughs> The bat fighting style is actually like pretty limited. You can't really do much with it. Like it's only got two strikes, pretty much. I guess three if you count uh, the, like B button strike. But I guess that's what we're doing. We're kind of trying to improve. Yeah, you unlock more, exactly. Yeah, suck it, ancient martial arts. <laughs> well done, Majima-san. Let's go back to the store and have a long conversation. I knew you could do it, Majima-san. I tried to slip my attacks past your defenses, but the sheer force of your strikes overwhelmed me. You were spinning that thing so fast, I thought you'd take off. Not too shabby on defense, either. The pole allows you to protect your lower body as well. Try using it when multiple foes or opponents target your legs. Yeah, I got it. Thank you for visiting the dragon and tiger. Oh gosh, okay, well I guess we might as well, we're here, we might as well do all of them. Uh. Now he's gonna hit me with sticks. Kali is actually the name of a martial art in the Philippines. It is their national sport. The word Kali comes from the local language. The weapon spread throughout the United States, and the word sticks was added. I'll leave out the details, but their practicalities made them popular around the world. Weapon for the Philippines, huh? Who would have thought? Did you really think they are world famous? Yeah. Yes, it is easy for simple weapons such as these to take root. 
Well, maybe they're just taking off here in Japan then. Only thing I see in these two sticks are taiko drums. <laughs> Do not underestimate their potential to cause harm. Uh. Sure, let's get this show on the road. Jesus, dude. Hold on. Welcome to the Mouth Squad. Sagular? Welcome to the squad. Thank you. Oh, that just boosted my. Hold on. Jesus, man. Welcome to the Mouth Squad. I need my health booster. There it is. Godfather Brack, thank you. Okay. Ugh. Oh, I always forget he does that one last attack. God, these, the bat is so slow. Like, by comparison? That was pretty cool. we go there we go <laughs> yeah sticks lose topes lose topes lose topes lose <laughs> kenneth mullen welcome back your first name is my middle name excellent fight majima san i attempted to shut down your offense with my own attacks but i ended up being overpowered you were really getting up in my face that's the right way to use those things I believe they are best used to press the attack rather than defend. If you land enough blows, you can even stun opponents, making them ideal against swift oh. foes. Thank you for visiting the dragon and tiger. All right, two more. Yes, Kenneth is Kenneth is also my dad's name. So there you go. Now you know we have oh. that in common, Kenneth McMillan. <laughs> really? That's funny. <laughs> hey, Kenneth Gardner. <laughs> Any more Kens? Kenishiro? Tonfa is a weapon from Okinawa. A set of two is generally used there, but I prefer to wield a single Tonfa. Uh -huh. Not two? You got a reason for that, you rebel. Yeah. It's more portable this way. In some countries, they even use them as police batons, so there's plenty of room to adapt them to different styles. I see. And you're going to show me these styles, huh? 
Of all the weapons I teach you, this is the easiest to wield and most suited to one-on-one -on -one combat. Sounds good. Let's skip the chat and hit the sticks then. Tonfa is cool because you can use it. It basically makes your arm really tough. Okay, just like broke through my defense. Defensive with this weapon, I can't. Like, it's really hard to get in and hit him, or like build up a comp uh, combo. And it seems like he gets to attack from, like, from the side as well. It's weird. I don't really know how to fight these yet. See that how I only get to block like half the attacks? It's nuts. Okay, hold on. Drink a freaking juice. Yeah, like he, he he knocks my my guard away and then finishes his combo but I can't seem even though you'd think I'd be stronger you'd think that I'd be able to like break his guard because I have a two-handed weapon but... no I can't like I can't dodge really like I I can but he's really fast is the thing. So, yeah, maybe... Yeah, see. Uh, cause the lock-on doesn't really help. You have to hold, like, two extra buttons to lock-on and dodge. There we go. Yeah, I think it's just, like, a challenging one. What's up, Great Talon? So you can't dodge back. I wish this lock was a toggle, not a hold. Like, I kind of hate that I have to... Okay, hold on. See how you, like, you dodge one way and then he, he just adjusts right away? There you go. But I'm so slow. Yeah, facing is the problem, right? Because it's like, if I move at all, he auto-retargets on me. So I gotta kinda get... Yeah, it's interesting. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Yeah, bat beats stick. An excellent performance, Majima-san. Uh, well, let's go back to the store. Hey, Bridal. Welcome home. I... Fine work, Majima-san. I plan to bash my way through your defenses, but you staved off my attacks admirably. I don't think that's true. <laughs> I just drank a lot of potions. The dump is held parallel to the arm, which makes blocking intuitive. You can defend at any time while maintaining your stance, so it offers a good balance of offense and defense. However, keep in mind that its range is limited. As I mentioned, best suited for single opponents. Yeah, yeah. totally. That makes sense. All right, we got one more. What was it? Nun nunchucks? None talk good. All right, cool. Are you healthy and ready to fight? No, I should probably have eaten like a bowl of ramen or something first, but okay. Yeah, need more potions. We'll see. Huh? You don't have to explain them to me. Ain't a soul alive, I don't recognize those. Pretty easy to look like a badass swinging those around. Jeez. I'm also a fan of the nunchaku. I work on crafting variations every day. I have been reading a historical novel. I am attempting to combine a weapon that appears in it with the nunchaku. Perhaps you will encounter it in due time. <sighs> Alright, let's go. Let's do the fight. Show me your nunchucks. So this is gonna be if 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 it's anything like actual nunchucks, it's gonna be real hard to defend against. I'm gonna take a potion here. Just hit. <laughs> that was weird. Oh no, it's actually not that hard to block at all. It's weird. Yeah, yeah, you're so tough. Let's go back to the store. Let's try that again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on, let me eat first. Hi, can you feed me? Is this an actual can restaurant? It? <laughs> Maybe it's not. <laughs> okay, hang on. <laughs> okay, hang on, buddy. I gotta, I gotta go to the an actual store and get some stuff, and then we'll come back and we'll fight. Uh, where's the? I'm gonna go eat at this crab joint. Excuse me. And then I'll go to the pharmacy. What's the most expensive thing on your menu? I'm gonna eat that. Crab kaiseki jusanya. Two kinds of pickled crab, crab sashimi, grilled crab, and crab tempura. Comes with crab custard, crab sushi, clear soup, and fruit. So much crab. Okay, now there's uh, I need to go to a convenience store. What's this? Takoyaki stand. Drugstore. Okay. It's the drugstore. 
Why? It's a kid. Wait a second. <laughs> it's a little girl. What do you want, kid? You made me really uncomfortable last time we talked. Which one is it now? Ah! Daddy? You scared me. Uh, you, you really got an all eye for these, these dolls, don't you? It's just the pink bun chan looks really pretty. Pretty or not, didn't I tell you how dangerous this area can get? You're not looking for trouble, are you? <sighs> no, I, I'm sorry. <sighs> Here we go again, a pink bun chan, huh? Let's see what we can do. I feel like this kid's fucking taking me for a... I'm Oh boy, okay. Oh no! Oh dear. <laughs> nice, nice try. That's good. That worked out great. God damn it, after all that. All right, you little freaking bird, get in there, get in the thing. Come on. Look at it slowly rotating as it's being crushed. <laughs> Come on, pick it up. Pick it up! Pick it up! Boom! First try. <laughs> Here you go, kid. You still staring at that bun chan doll? Yes, I am. I got one of them. Here you go. Bouncy little bun chan. Wow, a real pink bun chan. Thank you so much. Say, how come you like dolls so much? Oh, I'm just all alone when I'm home. Having my squirrels around feels like I have friends over. Because again, I was saying my dad is kind of a deadbeat cop who spends all of his time at work. He's hunting down a murderer right now. Weird things keep happening in my town, and I have no friends, so it's either this or hang out with Yosuke, so, you know. <laughs> well, that's nice. Now Bunchan gets to join the family. Thanks for everything, Daddy. I'm going to have such a good time. See you later. Bye. Yeah, yeah. Now get the fuck out of here. You're creeping me out, kid. Maybe now the tea party's complete. No reason for her to hang around here anymore, I hope. That bar's not full yet, Majima-san. All right, now, where was I headed? I was going to the drugstore. Oh, no! Ah! Ah, it's robbery guy! No, get the fuck away from me! Oh, God, I can't look at my map either. Fuck! I walked right into him. Shit! Shit, shit, shit. Where's the fucking drugstore? I'm gonna hide in this drugstore. Please don't tell him I'm here. <laughs> Good. Yeah, soon, soon I'll get to turn things around on that guy, but for today. Uh, I don't know. Let's get a thing of extreme lemon sticks just for fun. I don't know. 
Don't chase me, I'm full of crab. Okay, he seems it seems like he's gone. Alright. Let's go fight that old man. Whoa. Oh shit. Again. Oh god, what's wrong with you, kid? What the? It's that doll girl bawling her eyes out. I saw her like 30 seconds ago. <laughs> hey, what's the matter, scamp? Huh? Whoa. Aw, a little muffin. What's this? The doll I gave you got all messed up. Who did this? I want names. Oh, Majima's out for blood. My mom! My mom! My mom's gonna get killed! Yeah, yeah nanny! The scary men who come to take money showed up, but this time they took her away. And they did this to your doll, huh? You got any idea where they took your mom? Down in, in a van! Down by the river! Alright, come on, kiddo. We gotta bust a move. You want it. You got it. Just bust a move. Stop it! I already paid you back everything I borrowed. Huh? What are you talking about, you dozy cow? We lent you a million yen, remember? But I paid it all back by the due date. Huh? Are you really that dense? You ain't paid a drop of the interest yet. <laughs> by my calculation, that's about 13 million yen left to pay. And we want it back now. 13 million? I could never... Come on, guys. You gotta... You gotta squeeze me for an amount I might actually be able to pay you. That's crazy. What are you, Dr. Evil? Come on. Yeah? Guess you leave us no choice then. You're young enough still. Sure, there's plenty of cash out on the street. Ooh, these guys. I'm gonna give them a kicking. Such a kicking. Stop looking at her cardigan. I know plenty of sickos. Oh, it's just a sweater. We'd pay top dollar for the little kid you got. Damn it. What the fuck? Those are the terms of the deal. You work for us till every last yen is paid back. You got it? Your brat's gonna fetch a pretty price, too. <laughs> Probably bring in more than you. Gahaha. <laughs> Leave her alone. My daughter, she's the only family I have left. Please, at least spare her. Please. Hey, get her out of here. Gotcha. Oh, no need for that. Huh? Huh? Daddy's home. And who are you? We ain't here to give us lip about the way we do business, are ya? Hmm? Yeah. I don't give a flying shit about your business. You can do whatever the hell you want. Then you're smarter than you look. How about you leave the kid and scram? Yeah, that, that ain't gonna happen. See, there's two types of people in this world that really set me off. Huh? Dipshits who tear up dolls that I went through a lot of trouble to get a hold of. And fuckwits who prey on defenseless women because it makes them feel big. You fit both of them bills, asshole! <laughs> what, you motherfucker? You got a screw loose, you skinny runt? You're begging to get your neck broke. Shut your mouth and put up your fists so I can hurry up and beat the shit out of you! That was easy. Hey, I ain't done with you yet. I still gotta tear you up as badly as you tore up that poor doll. <laughs> Have mercy! Ah, come on. I was just getting to the fun part. Hey, you alright? I tell you. Yeah! This is the man who bought me all the dolls, Mommy. I call him Daddy. Weird, me too. Oh! So that was you. This man I've never met before, ever, at all. 
My daughter talks about you all the time. Uh, I don't suppose I could ask you for your name, total stranger I've never met before. Sure, it's, uh, it's Ma Majima. Which you do, you wouldn't know that, because we're strangers. Majima-san, you've done so much for us, I don't know how to thank you. Or maybe I do, but I'll thank you later, in private. Stranger, I don't know. It was nothing, really. This is a little token of my appreciation. Please accept it. You got a security wallet. I appreciate it, lady. Daddy, I'm sorry. Huh? What's wrong, scamp? I told you... God. I told you I'd take good care of the dolls, but please don't be mad at me. Why would I be mad at you? I don't, I don't give a fuck about no shit. But... Listen, even with its eye coming off and cuts all over, it ain't like it's dead. Not dead. Its heart's still beating. I can feel it. Really? Yeah. Heck. I'm living proof, ain't I? Take a look. One eye's gone, but I'm doing just fine. Haha, <laughs> uh -huh. you're right. When Bunchan got messed up, you didn't throw it away. You're still clutching it close. Damaged people deserve love, too? C come on! I gotta go! It looks pretty happy about that, if, if you ask me. <laughs> really? I'm gonna fix him up and keep him safe, then. Yeah. Yeah, you, you better do that. For you, for you doll, it's not a metaphor or nothing. I, I don't care about it. I, I gotta go. Thank you for everything, Majima-san. <laughs> don't let him, don't let him watch you cry, Majima. Get out of here. You're, you're a tough man. Thanks, Dad. Daddy. <laughs> it's got a nice ring to it. <laughs> Aw. So, I love how that happens. Like, this happened a few times in these quests where, like, at the very end, it's like, guess what? It's actually really touching and, like, kind of sweet in a weird way. Strangely nuanced. All right, now let's go beat up an old man. <laughs> Bun Chan died two days later from gangrene. Yes, I've been working on my techniques. Show me your nunchaku shit. Let's do it. Uh. I'm ready. I'm fucking, I'm fucking ready. Let's do it. Let's, let's do it, man. Our illustrious champion returns. Welcome home. Subscriber sama wa kami sama this. <laughs> Welcome back, P Fum. Okay. All right, Bruce Lee. Let's do it. Captain. It's gonna have to. Coked up Chocobo. Hi. It's been a while. How you doing? Thank you. Yeah, I don't know. The whole blocking thing is totally fucked up with these weapons because I wouldn't be able to block, and then he uh, he wouldn't be able to block either. Not really.
Yeah, it's a good thing the music's so good, because this the segments are a bit boring. Take that! You have beaten me, Majima-san. Let's go back to the store. <laughs> okay. <laughs> sure. <laughs> and Chaku got... Ain't got nothing on me. That's right. Well fought, Majima-san. I unleashed my full fury, but you defeated me handily. Any uh, parting advice from the Nunchaku Master? If wielded properly, the nunchaku can slip past the enemy's defenses. The trick is to hook it around them. It also enhances your fighting spirit as you rain down blows on opponents and deliver powerful finishing moves. Ah. Sweet. Got it. Thank you for visiting the dragon and tiger. All right, so we got four of his five moves. Now we shall learn the last one, the katana. You wish to learn the katana. Ah. This is it. This is the big one. It's the big boy. Yeah, right. If it was a sharp katana, it would just cut the bat in half and kill me. As you are aware, the katana has been long been the weapon of choice among warriors in Japan. Uh. Yeah, history 101. With a sharpness not found anywhere else due to the complex forging techniques involved, they're the ultimate bladed weapon. I tried forging them myself, but it is not easy. You can forge katana, too. I have not mastered the technique to the point where I could sell my creations. Right now, a friend crafts them for me, but I hope to someday reach that level. Does that mean if I slip this time, I'll be losing appendages? It's getting real. Yeah. No, that would be unwise. I will use a wooden katana. There we go. <laughs> oh, I was kind of looking forward to it. What, losing your limbs? You weirdo. What, are you going to go all drunk and master on me? What's the deal? You will have to wait and see. Fei Hu, Master of Suspense. I guess seeing will be believing. Look forward to getting another look at your bat techniques. We should avoid using our more powerful moves. Let's go. What's up, Ron? Hello. Okay, so I can get two hits in before he recovers. Maybe three. Oh yeah, fuck you. Excuse me.
Pretty done with like these tutorials. Yeah, right? It's like kind of not a great segment. They're weapon tutorials. Like, I'm not unlocking anything for my bat. It's just so that later when you get swords and shit from him, you can, like, use them. But yeah, they give him too much health, I think. Yeah. Sweet. A one. A splendid fight, Majima san. You've bested me. Let us return to the store now. Yeah, like, unless that's what it is, where he's like, now you can do all this stuff with a bat. That would be useful too, but. It's done anyway. I got through them. My sword style is a difficult one to read. You anticipated my every move. Swords look real sweet, too. Maybe I'll give them a shot. By all means. But as the katana seems to be an expensive weapon, you should save it for when the time seems right. Yeah, they cost a million yen easy. I'll pick one up and give it a whirl when I got cash to blow. Thank you for visiting the dragon and tiger. There we go. We got all of Fehu's fucking moves. Hi. <laughs> okay. Ah, now we can actually be a restaurant. Good. <laughs> My husband cares about weapons only. He should think about cooking sometime. Ah, don't bust his chops too hard, Longhua. Gotta say, though, I'm glad this place turned out to be more respectable than I thought. What do you mean? You deal in weapons, right? Most of the time, that means the back room's hot with criminal activity shit. But here, the only thing getting hot is the Kung Pao chicken. This is more of a curio shop, you could say. We don't sell arms to anyone looking to cause trouble. My only interest is in studying the virtues of fine weaponry. Uh. I can appreciate that. So if you ever get in trouble, you know who to call. That is gracious of you. <laughs> you be a good boy now, Manjima san. All right, so I'm going to send somebody on a mission Can here. Oh my god, I love these pictures. Stock photos of homeless man, backpacker, TV personality, con artist, information dealer. Let's use this guy. Oh, yeah, I can repair my slime gun. We should definitely go fight. We should definitely go fight that guy now with a shotgun. Now that I can. Okay, next time I see that big guy, we'll, we'll take him on with a slime gun.